What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. Today we're just gonna do a technical analysis and price prediction on PancakeSwap. So definitely stick around to the end of the video. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Leave a comment in the comment section and let's get straight to it. So let's talk about this. So now, as you can see here with PancakeSwap, we did hit this support way down here at $4.14. So yeah, that was a pretty low bottom, but it was really just a support for us, but that's not the complete bottom. So we got to look at where pancake swap is more likely to go if we continue on this downtrend. And obviously the whole crypto market is in a downtrend. So everything is pretty much going to be following what Bitcoin is doing, but pancake swap is moving a little bit differently because you know, it's also tied to BNB. So we have to also look at that as a factor as well. So now that we got that out of the way, as you can see here, pancake swap moving a little bit sideways today, only up 0.3% for the last 24 hours. So we see up and down movements, but still we're typically near where we were at the beginning of the day. So let's see where we are more than likely going to end up here with pancake swap. And for one, we're getting a lot of new holders here inside of pancake swap. Actually, like two weeks ago, October 1st of 2022. We were actually at 1,263,680 holders. Now we're at 1,270,613 holders. So essentially we got about 7,000 holders over a two week period. So that's pretty decent right there. But let's look at technicals now. So right now what we're doing here with PancakeSwap, like I said, we bounced off this $4.14 area. And then we kind of got rejected up here at this resistance all the way at $4.47. And now what we're seeing right now, we're inside of this high activity area which means high activity for large whales pretty much. And then the red area here is supply and demand of less demand. Green area down here is supply and demand of more demand. So right now we're like right in between this less demand and more demand area. So what I'm really predicting here at PancakeSwap, since we do have high activity expected, it could actually be high selling activity. Because notice there's less demand immediately above us where we have that high activity area. And also you can scroll up here and see another high activity area but it was also high selling activity. This is high activity in this red area. And notice how the second we hit the high activity area, we always have high selling. We come up here, we reach it again, we have some selling. We come up here, reach it again, have high selling. So the same thing is kind of happening again here with pancake swap, where we're trying to get right back up here to this area, but we may have some more high selling, bringing us down even further. So we got to look at where pancake swap is more than likely going to go next. So if we're really going to look at this right now, we got to look at the next support below the one that we just now hit below 414. So right below that, we have down here $3.99, but let's just say $4 to be easy here. So $4 flat is really where we're looking for our support line here with pancake swap. Now, that's just this is just a 15-minute chart, so it's not the whole you know wide scope of things. So what we really want to look at here is the four-hour chart that's going to show us our long-term projection here for pancake swap. Now, as you can see over here with the pancake swap, large are the long-term objective here with the four-hour chart. You can actually see here on the oscillator that there's way less volume. So there was a bullish signal, but it was barely any buying. And that's indicated by all this buying here. Wasn't enough buying to keep us continuing to rise back up here to this resistance. $4.65. We couldn't get all the way back up there. But what we are seeing here with pancake swap is the volume is decreasing. So now we have to look at where we're about to go next here with this. Like I said, look, we're in a high activity area. But this could easily be high selling activity. Even if we were to rise all the way up here and go back to $4.62, we still have less demand there. So it's still a possibility that we get rejected. And also notice here that, yes, this is a huge, large area of more demand for our supply and demand. But notice right here, a smaller green area is now forming up because now we're also developing some support down here, like how we hit before at $4.19 to $4.20. So we're really building a support base down there for pancake swap. Now, there's always also the possibility that we go down here to the left, to the bottom side of the support. But see, the good thing about that is this is how you build a momentum inside of any type of chart. You just got to go down to the bottom support and see we have high activity all the way down here. We have high activity and this is for whales, institutional investors, dark pools, all that good stuff. So what we're really looking at is this pullback inside of pancake swap all the way down to this $4, well, $3.90 area. So we really want to go all the way down to $3.90. Even if we go down to $4, we want it to go all the way to $3.90 so we can have more momentum built and see when people see the buy the dip opportunity, that's when people really jump up in on it. So that's really what we want to see right now. And that's going to give us the best return on our investment if we can get in all the way down there. Now, if we break this support, 
which I don't think is just going to immediately break the support. Eventually, if we continue to go down in the crypto market, then yes, that's a possibility. But if we do that, then you want to look at the next support line, $3.31 at the bottom of that support line. And then over here at the top, $3.61. So we want to watch for that. We have moderate activity here. So we will probably have some moderate buying here. But you'll also have to look back to where PancakeSwap was beforehand. So July 27th, uh, yeah, July 27th, 2022, we actually broke this resistance and that was $3.32. Our resistance then becomes our support as we pull back down here. So now we're seeing that same resistance is now going to be our support at $3.32. So that's really what we're looking at here for PancakeSwap. We also hit the same support down here and then that support was actually at $3.62. So that's why I also mentioned this here to be our support as well. We got to look at that as a factor. Now, what if we go below all these? If we go below all of these, then what we're going to see is this support here, $2.70. This $2.70 area and then the top side area, $2.93. Obviously, it's not just going to immediately start to do all this stuff. This is if Bitcoin continues down on the downtrend. But now let's look on the bullish side of things. If we continue to become bullish here, and remember, between all of these different pullbacks, you're always going to hit a pullback like this, right? And then you're going to bounce back up to the resistance and probably get rejected if it can't continue pull back a little more, bounce back up to a resistance area, possibly up to the next one, and then continuing to pull back if it's still bearish from there. And then you know the drill, bouncing back and forth like that. It's pretty much going to keep doing that if it's going to continue to become bearish. But yeah, like I was about to say, if it's going to actually become bullish, then what we really want to look towards is this resistance all the way up here at $5.49. It's going to be very hard to do that inside of a bear market. Everybody knows we're in a bear market right now. This is not any kind of... a uh, this isn't a secret. Everybody knows we're in a bear market. Now, look, Bitcoin is really the telltale signal of what everything is about to do. So I keep telling people this time and time again in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is about to reach 18.2K. 18 we hit 18.2K here on the 13th of October. We did the same thing way back here, 18.2K Bitcoin. Again, the 21st of September. Again, back here, 18.2K Bitcoin, the 19th of September. This is a constant support that Bitcoin is always hitting, always hitting. And actually, if you think about it and you go all the way back, we almost touched it down here on the 7th of September. And then if you want to look even further back here, the last time at, since, you know, the 7th of September, we haven't hit 18.2K in Bitcoin for a very long time since December of 2020. See, a lot of people, they don't want to go this far back with Bitcoin because they know the truth. And they know the bottom support for Bitcoin is 10K and Bitcoin is not bottomed out yet. And actually, if you look here, high activity is expected, which is going to be selling activity, bringing us back down to our bottom side support of $10,000 to $14,000 Bitcoin. That's really the target price for Bitcoin. And that's technically. Now, fundamentally, anything can happen. We could just have a random pump inside of the crypto market because institutional investors decide to just pump it again. But right now, technically, we're, we, we should be pulling back down to $14,000 to ten thousand dollars and that's why this is a technical analysis video if you want to watch my um fundamental analysis video on bitcoin i'll definitely make one of those for you all but this is a technical so if you look back here 18.2k has not been touched inside of bitcoin since december of last year or not last year but since like november to december of 2020 so that's really what we're looking at here that was a major resistance point for us so it's also going to be a major support for us and then our bottom support from 10K to 14K Bitcoin. And like I said, if we get that low with Bitcoin, then you want to expect Pancake Swap to go down very low as well. So if that if Bitcoin gets all the way down to like 14, 10K right now, then yeah, you're gonna expect Pancake Pan Pan Swap to go below this area down here at $2.70. But see, if we do go down there, you can expect $2.70 $2 somewhere around there, and then possibly even below that if we have a huge drop in Bitcoin going down to 10 to 14K. So, you know, there's always a possibility, but we always want to be wary. But as of what Pancake Swap is about to do right now, we're definitely about to go down to a support. So prepare for pullbacks. We're already doing it right now. As we're speaking, we're already pulling back. And if you want to look at a one week chart for Pancake Swap, it's a little bit hard to look at that, especially on trading view. You would have probably have to get a different chart to do this. But yeah, it, it still doesn't look the same, you know, but it's best to just look at the four hour chart. I do the one week chart for Bitcoin because Bitcoin has a longer track record. So it's easier to do a one week chart. But anyways, pancake swap is still going to be continuing to pull back. We already hit the support, but you're already seeing a rejection. Now there is high activity. So you could see some buying, like I said, bringing us back up here to four dollars and 70 cents. But I don't think it's going to get too far above that. And if it does get far above that, then you probably will see it getting stopped out at $5.50.
and then going right back down from there. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I got here for the pancake swap video. Definitely go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Definitely check out my other channel, Marcellus Travels. We're going to have a lot of travel content on there. And I'm talking about cryptos on there right now. And we're going to talk about how to use cryptos in different DeFi apps to create passive income, to travel the world, and to become a crypto nomad. So, yeah, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. And as always, I'll be back with another video.